Welcome to my knowledge. Today we will discuss the basics of Abacus. This is the first tutorial video of Abacus. When we turn on the Abacus, we will see a window like this. Here we can select standard explicit modeling or electromagnetic modeling. So we will click on this. Now once we click on that, we will have a workspace like this, a ribbon and a model tree. Now we will have different modules to solve a problem in Abacus. These are the uh, modules one by one, we, we will discuss all of these one by one. So let's create a directory. I will select a folder in which I want to save the files. It can be anywhere on the computer. Now let's name the file. Suppose I name it as Kent. Now the directory is created. We will now create a part. For that I have to click over here. I want to create a 3D part a deformable part and it will be solid and it will ask about extrusion. We can also revolve or sweep the geometry but first we will discuss extrusion. The approximate size I will keep as 200. Basically in a Becus, you don't have units, you have to keep the units consistent by yourself. Now I will draw a rectangle. The dimensions of the rectangle can be edited from here. Suppose I keep the height as 10 and the length as 100. So this is the rectangle size. Now, once the size is selected, I will click on done and it will ask about the depth of extrusion. Uh, so you can change the value from here or you can just press OK. This is the basically the beam that I wanted to analyze. The next step will be property. Now I have to select properties of the beam. For that I have to define a material, uh, let's uh, rename it as steel, suppose I want to define my own properties then I, I will only need elastic properties for this process and now I will click on elastic, the material is isotropic or the young modulus uh, I can check from the internet or some uh, reliable source. So let's suppose the Young's modulus is 200 e raised to power 3 and the poison ratio is 0.29 for steel. I'll press OK. Now that the steel material is created. Now I have to select section. Suppose the material is homogeneous. The cantilevered beam is homogeneous. Uh, I will leave it at this and then click continue. Now I can select material from here. If uh, you make multiple materials you can select it from here. I will press dismiss. Now in the next step we will assign this material to this beam. For that, click on create. Select the beam and then click on done. Here we will have the selection or section. Press OK. And the change of color represents that the material is assigned. 
now we'll move to next step uh, as it is a single part I'll just click on assembly and then keep it like this and press OK so the beam is ready now I can move to the next step which is step itself now I have to define the problem for that click on create the problem is static structure uh, I can also uh, do heat transfer problem but currently this is a static structure problem you have to now I'll move to mesh in mesh basically you have to select seeds for that the part must be independent so to make it independent I'll click on part change it from assembly to part now click on this the seeds means number of nodes that you want in this uh, beam suppose this is 10 if I reduce it to 2 the size of the mesh reduces okay now I can click here and select the type of mesh hexagonal hexa dominant model tetragonal or wedge so in this case uh, I will go for hexagonal because it is a rectangular piece so hexagonal mesh suits this problem better I'll just press OK after clicking on mesh you will get the required mesh now I can go to loads and apply the boundary conditions plus force so for that I will rotate this beam a little now I can create boundary condition suppose I want to fix one end for that I will select symmetric anti-symmetry and in caster so let's press continue and now select the surface that I want to in caster click on done and here you can constrain the motion in different axes in caster mean that it will not move or rotate in any axis now let's move to loads For load I will create a set node let's name it as node 1 continue now I will select the specific node Well, this is the node on which I want to apply the force done all right now apply the force suppose I want to apply the force on exactly this point I'll click on set and select this node that I created now I will enter the value of the force F1 represents X axis, F2 represents Y axis and F3 represents Z axis. I want to apply uh, load in Y axis and that also in negative Y axis. 100 means Newton. In amplitude you have to define some amplitude. 
and uh, for that I will use equally spaced amplitude and then click on continue the time will be from 0 to 1 and amplitude will also be from 0 to 1 now change this amplitude from ramp to amplitude 1 okay now let's see what happens to this problem you can see the force on exactly that node okay now uh, we'll move to job and in job you have to select and create a job it will uh, name it by itself as it is job one now after creating it we'll submit the data we'll su submit the data for first pre-check now after submitting it will analyze the input data whether if it is correct or not so it shows the job is completed now we can click on results to see the results now let's see the deformation if you see the deformation due to the force on exactly that node you'll see that the beam is bent at that point and you can see the deformation in the nodes that are closer to that single node so this is the one my stress these are the one my stress values You can also see the maximum principal stresses and Tresca load. From here, you can also check the pressure. Now, this will represent the deformation. As you can see, the red portion shows maximum deformation or deflection. These are the deformations in different excesses. So that's it for today's video. Keep visiting our new and complicated videos of Abacus, Comsol, AutoCAD, and SolidWorks. Okay, take care.